Good day, Gridiron Gal. It's gathering for the grand game. I'm on silent and we're on the air with, well, a game that used to be known as NCAA Football 14, but here you can see it's college football revamped. Yes, we're playing another modded sports game on the channel. If you're new to the channel, I have played a few other modded sports games along the way on the channel, usually focused on hockey, but I heard about this one recently, College Football Revamped. It's an updated mod for NCAA 14, the last EA Sports NCAA game, unless you're watching this about like eight months from when I post it, in which case it was the second to last NCAA football game released. But that's because apparently we're getting NCAA football 25 starting next year in a revival of the series. But this is the last one of, I guess, the classic NCAA football franchise. So what this does is it updates the game. Uh, let's see to um, edit rosters real fast. As you can tell who my, you know, being from Northern Ontario, I'm, I'm a uh, fan of Detroit sports. That's, that's basically the locality for me to hell with the Maple Leafs. So, you know, Detroit sports leads you to, I mean, uh, I was going to say, one of these things is going to not be like the others. The Lions, the Red Wings, the Pistons, and the Tigers. But what else is in the neighborhood? Well, the University of Michigan as well. Yes, yeah, so, so yes, you, if you're a fan of universe or of college football in general, or you watched last week's, last Monday's, uh, it hasn't happened yet as I'm recording, but I'm assuming that the that the Wolverines lost to, to Alabama, and I'm assuming that they rigged the uh, Washington-Texas game so that we have a rematch, Texas and Alabama, in the national championship game later on today, if you're watching this on the day it was posted, or earlier if you're watching it after it's been posted. But yeah, so it is up to date with... Uh, with the uh, updated rosters and updated logos and updated jerseys and updated presentation for the games. Uh, the only thing is, is that this team builder bit. The, it can work. I've seen YouTube videos on it. The problem is those YouTube videos for setting up how to get team builder to work are in excess of an hour long, so I haven't done it for this. But you still have all the other bits, like, okay, so you can't add... Oh, okay, I don't have Ultimate Team. So you can't... You can, with some effort, put in a team into Dynasty mode, but you still have Road to Glory. But you still have... And this is this mod is from the start of the season. So that's why if we go into Exhibition mode here, you'll see... The inflated, the annual inflated rankings there on the left, and number two, Michigan Wolverines. If we were to go to, that was, oh, UTEP, no. Bowling Green, no, I'm looking for, there we go. Something to get me close to. Georgia would still be ranked number one as per their preseason rankings. But all the schools, I, I think, I think all the schools you know and love are in here. And even the ones you don't, like, the so-called offense of the Iowa Hawkeyes, but uh, where do we want to go? Let's go back and in so I can get to that. Let me could do this. I, when, when I do this, and again, if you're new here, I usually will, I'll just grab like a rivalry sort of game, and, and I, I think the game kind of picked it for me. I'm not very good at this game. I haven't played... The last NCAA football game I played, I had NCAA 10, which was the first one with Team Builder. Which I got a, that's a, I mean, not that it says on the, on the tin there, but it's a press copy that EA sent me way back in the day when, you know, EA, when I was on campus radio, I used to do campus radio. I was a football commentator and hockey and basketball commentator on, on campus radio back in university. I also, at the time, and I don't know if I still do have the record for the most provincial championships called in a single school year. I, I don't know if that's been broken or matched since, but I did at the time. But um, EA was always... When I also had a talk show on Campus Radio as well, and EA... I mean, you can say what you want, but EA PR was always willing to play ball with me and uh, get some stuff on, like, talk about their games and review them 
and they liked what I did because they kept sending me stuff. So, at a certain point, I stopped requesting. But I think we can go with uh, with uh, oh, just yeah, just nothing but white for bronze. Okay, so they have all sorts of neon. Oh my! See neon alts, neon alts, and all sorts of, and then you've got the whole white stuff here. Do we have? Throat. Okay, it's, for a second there, he didn't have a helmet. I was like, well, wait a minute, that doesn't work. But yeah, so you, could, you have all sorts of... Uh, yeah, you have all sorts of uh, classic... Uh, yeah, let's go with this one. You have all sorts of different jerseys and options that you can put onto the... Uh, for onto the uh, onto these guys here. And then you can do the same over here again. It's just all the jersey options. Which, you, well, I mean, which honestly, uh, no, we don't want. Uh, we want. We get uh, just a blue out here. Just. Oh, I guess, I guess this one, this one is a home. Man, I, I think I broke this. Uh-oh. Fiddling around and I broke it. Now I'll take it back to Michigan State. Uh, but yeah, so you've got all sorts of different options here. You always got, uh, got the, the maze uniform. So I was going to go for the full blue here. This is what I was going for. Oh, no. I, uh, there we go. And then, yeah, something like this. But I wanted the white helmets for State. Something similar to that. I don't know why it defaults to Cincinnati. I mean, three four makes sense, but uh, the system clock. What's actually it is below zero right now where I am. Uh, so it's one. So let's. I don't know what it is in Ann Arbor, but I can do a quick conversion of the. Ten Whoa, no, not that gold. So we'll get it to thirty-one. Just a light breeze, partly cloudy. What is it outside anyway right now? Eh, cloudy. Overcast there. Ah, damn it. Change that back. <laughs> Things that only matter to me. All right, close enough. There, 31. You got your difficulties, freshman through to Heisman. Like I said, I've played a couple games. It's not gone well. Quarter length. It defaults to five. I find six to be a little better. But realizing we're going to play around a bit with this. I'm going to stick to the five. And then now they've also got updated. They've updated the menus. They updated the intro video. They updated the load screens as well. But then it flips over to team ratings. Who are your top players? And then who are the top players for the other team? Press X to continue. Now I assume... That this, oh, uh, we're not all gathering and waiting in the same tunnel. Okay, just want to check that. You get your intros, and fortunately it is emulated, so. I'll leave a link to where you can get your downloads and your install instructions in the description below. But yes, some, I guess some games have their custom intros as well, so it's just. The winner of today's fierce rivalry game will take home the Paul Bunyan Governor of Michigan trophy. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Now, I have been to Lansing. It's a good place to set up if you're going to an NASCAR race. Uh, yeah, let's start here, so that way I have the wind Michigan State for the, the uh, as we get ready for the opening kickoff. Brad Nessler, Kirk Herb Street. Wilson takes it at the four. Oh no, they got off their blocks. I was thinking I was thinking I saw a hole there, but I didn't. So you've got the commentary here, of course. Uh, it's not like the uh, I was gonna say NHL rebuilt or NHL 09 where they've got the updated I'll uh, just go with ask coach so I don't have to think too much. Uh curls. You gotta be better tacklers in the open field, and, and I think that's really what they've stressed. So what we're looking at here is and, and then it'll there's your coach cam on R2. That's one of those changes, so sprints on R2 now. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just in case you forgot X to snap the ball. I got... I got some play clock. And you can shape... One thing I like is you can shape the passes. I'm pretty sure that you could do it before. It's like two football games I've met. 2003, great game. And NCAA uh, 10. Uh, yeah, let's let's run Corum here. Let's... No, I'm not playing the draw. Play the off tackle. Is you can shape your passes a little bit. So I was able to pull it down and in on, uh, on that route there. Big hole. Oh. Somebody got off their block there. But we got seven on that one. I saw a big hole on the left side, which is exactly what you want, is is the line did a great job pushing open that hole. Now, I want to... Now, I want... Uh, give me play action. Something nice and short. PA misdirection. There. You got seven. They're, they're in tight. They're looking for a short pass. So... What you're looking at is, I'm looking at Wilson over the middle there, but Johnson off to the outside might get ice. He might get isolated. And single coverage, and yes, he is. And. Quick throw out to the receiver. Breaks one, breaks two. We got it! Oh, just short. We're just gonna. We're just gonna punch it in from there. Yeah, it looked like. <laughs> the I, I told you, I used to do this up in the radio. So I'm looking at. So one thing, and I. And I and sorry, can we go to the replay for a second? Can I just walk you through how I used to do this? Is I'm looking at this and I'm trying to read the coverage before we ever before the offense ever snaps the ball. And now I'm reading they're pressed up, they're cheat and run. So this is why the play action works. Is it freezes everyone. And now my first read is 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 okay. What's happening with the follow the follow the quarterback what's happening oh he's not handed off he's holding on to it okay now what's happening at the line and they and you can see yeah they've rushed six up there so they're coming blitz and now i take a look at the secondary and now it's it's man 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 well johnson got his break on there and actually there's some confusion happening up here three guys over here so there's a potential opening there but johnson makes that break and he's wide open and that's what you're going going for there and we had we had single coverage over on the right side of the field as well but sorry there's me <laughs> i was gonna say I, it's been a while since I've, I've been up in a booth but that's what i would be looking for oh fullback dive fullback dive let's go let's go one yard fullback plunge let's go They've got their goal line sets on the field. This might be a good time for play action. No. Touchdown, Michigan! Don't overthink it. Just send the big guy through. When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. Now, this is what I'm not used to is the kicking, because I'm used to kicking being on the X button, so... He makes the PAT. This was when EA Sports was moving everything onto the, the thumb, right thumbstick. Not that I'm not used to it. You've probably never played Ape Escape, but that's one of the first games that really made proper use of both thumbsticks. Okay, so we kick it to about the two. Oh, come on. Come on, kicker hit. Ah. Well, you know, 24. We stopped him short if we had uh, hit him for a touchback because that would have been to the 25. Two tight end set, two wide receivers. I don't know what their preferences are, so let's just play the spy. Oh. Now there we go. Let's I, I prefer playing the line. Okay. So it's a short pass. I haven't paid much attention to state all year, so and I don't know what the the game would have for preferences for them. It really wants me to blitz here, but let's play the slant zone two, clog up Second the middle. Up Can I see that? Ball on the 32. And clog it low. Well, I was right. They, they screened it. I, I was thinking right, but yeah, couldn't quite get to the quarterback in time, but. Now, I'll go cover three here again, expecting something similar, because they're making good use of that of space short of the sticks. So we're going to try and clog up the middle there again. It's caught 
And he just toe taps his way down. And again, just at the sticks. That's... Uh, they're still not making use. I'm going to go with the slant zone two. From the 49 yard line. They're kind of picking us apart. With these little dinky passes. But you know what? Or we'll just crush them in the backfield, one or the other. You know, you, you take what you can get here. Yeah, I was going to say, can the computer use the hit stick? Hit sticks is still a thing, right? <laughs> um... I'm, I'm happy covering zone, so... Uh, NCAA Blitz 3. That has to be overpowered in an NCAA game, right? Yeah, of course it does. Oh, pff. <laughs> Missed that. Just just blew right through, through the... Oh, no, nobody picked him up. The center... Went to the right, and he did not, and nobody had the assignment of that D lineman, and he just charged right through. Now, third and 19, I'm going to take the cover three. I don't like the cover three, but it, I'm expecting a pass here. Is he going to screen it out to the left? No. I'll take him down at midfield. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down. I'm assuming that they're going to try and cough and corner us, so I'm not expecting a return. Uh, if I remember my, the old games, then it's uh, fair catch on. I was going to say fair catch on triangle, but we do not want a fair catch on triangle. Oh, Christ. That didn't go so hot, so they pinned us inside the 20. Uh, let's... Texas, what the hell? Since I'm expecting to be in the national championship game today. So it's Edwards on the... Yeah, it's Edwards on the in. Let's see what cover she's got. And clean. I tried to lead him a little too much on that, so we had to stretch. But I saw, I saw a lot of space there, a lot of green space there for, uh, for Edwards there. Uh, we haven't set up the. Let's take the power. Oh, I was gonna say I was hot at play action. As much as successes we're having through the air, I don't want to, you know. Michigan is up by a touchdown. Nice blocks, nice blocks. We'll get the first here. Oh, up the middle. Yeah, no 16 yards. We'll take that. Not using Cor much in in the running game. And in, I mean, he's the best player on the team. You saw the uh, rosters earlier. Ah, oh, shit. I hit draw. I don't like draws. Uh, I have no idea what I just picked. Okay, just just hit him on the the quick curl. Oh, just I should I should have bulleted that one, and I just tapped circle. Yeah, that one's on me. That one's on me. You can when you're setting up the uh, when you're setting up the um, the mod. You can have it like I I have an Xbox controller, but I know the PlayStation buttons well enough, so I have a setup to do the PlayStation buttons. But you can get it. Oh, we got it up the middle and through. All right. I mean, he's averaging 11 and a half, and now it's gone up a little bit with that one. Oh, we've set up... Oh, okay, H misdirection. Okay, if we've set up H misdirection... I remember this is a mechanic from NCAA 10. Is if you run certain plays, eventually it'll set up something that should get you big yardage if you execute. Well, should being the operative word. Well, five's not bad. We're on a run. And it really wants me to keep running it up the gut. So we're going to. And I still got Corm in there. I'm waiting for Corm to get burnt out. We'll close out the half with this one. You'll get the first. That's what you want. Just keep the sticks moving. We'll just uh, 
We're not getting to the line before that, so we'll just let the quarter run out. We played one. The Wolverines lead 7-0. Five-minute quarters go a little fast. I'd prefer to go six, but... What are we thinking? I'm thinking off tackle. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Michigan is up a score. Spread them out a little bit. Oh. Ah, we got space and a touchdown. I was worried I should have gone to the outside as opposed to... But you follow your blocks, right? Watch there. I was thinking outside, and then I should I should have just hit the I should have hit the gap. It was right open, and I mean it worked out right. But I should have hit the gap there. And he hits the PAT. A seven play, eighty yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, not only did they put points up on the board, but I think it's the way they did it. That could be demoralizing for defense. This should be at about two or three. Yeah, okay, about the two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good return there for State. So we'll see they're down two scores. We're going to play cover two sink again. I Finding that they're taking those short, those short passes inside 10 yards. So five yards, like I said, there's there. It's where they're going, so it's why I'm trying to clog up the middle there. Now the question is, cover one lurks a little different than what we have been doing. It's uh, it's probably what well, it's man with the zone over the middle, mid and high. So. Hmm. Good call that you didn't drop people back into coverage on that. I'd like to run that play again. Now, will give it to me. Well, let's see what personnel they're running. Three wide set. Uh, I mean, cover one's functionally that, isn't it? Now, they're going to call it. It's a blitz there, but I mean, really, we're rushing four, so. Yeah, no. Yeah, I should have gone back to zone. Low resolution on the sideline, guys, but you know what? It's, but it, you know, it looks good otherwise, right? I mean, this is a so NCAA 14 was released on 360 and PS3, and so this runs through a PS3 emulator, but our PCS3 or whatever it is. I mean, again, in, in, the, in the mod instructions, it'll be it'll have recommendations and all that. Oh. He scrambled. Oh. He found a hole there off on the left. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Yeah, go to hell, Sparty. Okay, go cover three again. See what these guys do. Oh. No, not fast enough. You got him for one yard, but it's almost, almost got to the quarterback there. Just wasn't expecting him to... Uh, second and nine. I am not blitzing everyone. Uh, it really wants me to blitz. Maybe loop crash two? It's second and nine. Ball on the 32. Oh, well, just chipped him there. Oh, damn it. I wasn't expecting him to get up and I got up and I was busy trying to reestablish the trying to crush in on the pocket and missed the quarterback go right by me. Ah, oh, that's a bad move, Steve. Under smoke too. That sounds fun. Am I dropping back into coverage? Yeah. I am. Let's switch over to Jenkins. No oh, option. Oh, he's through. Inside the ten. And that's just what you want when you're calling the option. 
Got him at the end, just not soon enough, but... Wasn't expecting an option call there. But, you know what? 243 is a lot of time to march down the field, so... Just take a slow and steady, reestablish two-score lead. Even if it means, you know, doing it via... Oh, that's yeah, way off to the left, but... Wilson, from the four. Well, you know, we got out past 25, so it's not bad. Draw fake bubble. No, no. Ah, oh, it's all draw plays. No, 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 no. No draws. No, not Sting. Sting! How am I doing for the clock? Okay, just, just pick the... Power-O, go, go, go. Rush to the line. Now, didn't have the blocks on the outside. So, that's a shame, but, you know, we'll make it work. Now where do you get it? Inverted veer. Sure, that sounds weird. So what's Corm do? Oh, it's an option play. Corm's on his feet. Ah, well, we'll get it to the... That's a big-ass play. Big! Just like that said. Broke that tackle, spun off him, and found Pater. I burned every bit of stamina that Corum had trying to find the corner there. But, you know, that'll bring us to the two-minute warning. Or not. I thought they had two-minute warning in college, but... Uh, 46Y cross? Morse on drag. Got Johnson probably iced on the... Nope, he's got friends on the... Uh, oh, well, we got it out in time. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Grab corners here. So Morris is that. So we're in the spread. We'll see what we got. We got Johnson and Wilson on checkdowns. Morris is off the outside. Let's get him to the outside. Well, it depends. No huddle. I don't need to no huddle. I got lots of time. But uh, did we get to the out? Did we get him out? Or that's the problem when you don't have refs on the field in the actual game. I'm looking for somebody to, to signal as the clock going. Or is, did he make it out? But no, he made it out. Okay. Uh, let's go power. Oh, no, he didn't make it out. So we'll run Corum. Michigan is up seven. Through the gap there. Nope. He makes it out to maybe the got two yards on it. I'm not calling timeout. We got lots of time. I'm not worried here. Inside zone split. Is that an option? Doesn't look like. Ah, not getting, just chipping away, just chipping away at him every little bit. Uh, play type. Give me a, another play action. Give me a big package, though. Uh, PA misdirection. This is from the five-yard line. It's third and goal. Oh, it's going to be tight. Nah, now nah, we're good. <laughs> I was really concentrating on that one because I was thinking, oh shit, we're gonna, they're not going to have much of a window to throw in there. But he yet no one anywhere close. Because I was looking at uh, at the uh, tight end that was in motion there. So I was thinking, yeah, okay, we're gonna we're gonna take the check down there. And then just set up for the field goal, but we're good. Uh, 
Turner, ready to kick. And this will just go all the way back for a touchback. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. Now we'll see what they're thinking here. They're going to throw a big, big play out at this one, but... I got him. Oh, no, I don't got him. Oh! Fumble! And there we go. Turns it over. Hey, I got a fumble. Use your fumble. Let's go. <laughs> Here's a great job of the defense there to take advantage of the mistake and cause that turnover. So we've got... They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know they called it a fumble. Ah, oh, dang. I thought it came out before he got down, but that elbow's clearly down, so, yeah. Oh, knees down first. Uh, after review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after review, they decide that this call should be reversed. Well, we should have hustled out there, but... You guys not going to run the... Oh, there it goes. There's the runoff. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on their own 26. Well, we've played a half of football. Michigan's lead is two touchdowns. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Yes, they've got sponsorships and everything on your halftime show and everything. That's when EA was going for the, that real realistic presentation that they were trying for a little bit. Now, I mean, I really came up with the, um, I was going to say, what was, um, I was going to say when they did, uh, you know, being a hockey fan, you know, play a lot of hockey games. And I'm thinking like, you know, the early 2000s NHL games, uh, Jim Houston, Don Taylor, where it was like the game style was more arcadey, but so was the commentary there. So, it's one of those things where it's kind of I've kind of missed that sort of style, but still calling a game, still still scoring points, still putting up good numbers, but at the same time taking care of the pigskin, and they better value that thing because yeah, you give it away and bad things happen. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Curry. What I'd like to know is how we combine for over 14 minutes of possession when we've only played 10 minutes of football. You know? <laughs> no, just in my head, it doesn't seem to add up, but what do I know? I'm just an accountant. Nah, yeah, I was expecting the touchback, so I wasn't even paying attention to what I was doing as the kicker. I want to get a kicker tackle, damn it. Now let's let's gamble on that and just go blitz them. We're going to give up a huge gain off the start, aren't we? Or we'll trick them into just choking one or two other. You know what? Whatever works, I'll take whatever. All right. So again, three wide receiver set. They were looking out wide, so I'm going to ball on the 25 yard line. Uh, I couldn't get off my block fast enough. I was expecting him to go wide. They went up the gut, which I was expecting him to run on first down. They ran on second down. Third and four. They could definitely do it again. Let's go crossfire three seam. Don't know what any of these play names mean, but it sounds cool. Am I right? I was going to say safety there, or the, the DB didn't uh, didn't get turned around. Should have taken over for him, but... He could have come back and played a little tighter on the ball, but... So now they're... Uh, doesn't say where they're lined up, does it? That's kind of missing. I was going to say, I didn't think it was in the red zone, so that's why I wasn't... So I'm not kind of pressing up tighter, but. And down he goes. 
And so we'll set up second and short. This would be a good one to, to cheat on the run, I would guess. Well, because then again, last time I played this one, we got burned, so maybe I shouldn't have picked. No, I was right. I guessed right. He was played the run, but... So, red zone, just... From the 14-yard line, it's first down. So we'll grab the cover three sink thingy majig and we'll have this well covered. Oh, we got him, we got him. There he goes. Take him down for six yard loss. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction and it seemed to confuse the offense. Well, I think it's less the pressure on the line and we had the zone set up just about so right for them. There. Oh, got him. Again, there's... Now they're going to be... I mean, at this point, I would be thinking about running it up the gut just to set it up for a field goal, but you're down... But you're down two scores. You don't want to stop on that. So that's why I'm thinking again. Watch for a short pass and try and get to the sticks. Oh, right. Grabbing the wrong button. Oh, did he drop that? It almost looked like he dropped that, but... Fourth and 29. They're going to have to kick a field goal at this point. We just keep pushing him back. TFLs for days, boys. Punt. They we really did push him back that far. Morgan, back to return it. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I was gonna say, I think I, I thought I, I switched it over and I hit triangle. It used to be the fair catch button, so. Let's grab Smash. The offense is on its way out on the field again, and they haven't had any problem finding the end zone in their past couple of drives. Wilson's going to try. Let's see. I, I know Morris on the... Oh. Let's grab the X. Clemens. That was a good one. Clemens was wide open. If you watch this cut, that safety is so far off him that it was an easy read to, to take it out to him. I was reading left to right, which was the wrong way of doing it. I was cheating big with, I think it was what Wilson that was on the on the streak. Uh, don't like draws. What's destroy? Destroy sounds fun. Let's pick destroy. So it's the tight end. It's the tight end off on a flat there. Shit. Fires in a hurry. Interception. I knew that was trouble from as soon as it was out of my hand. Just when it looked like this offense might be able to put this game out of reach, you turn the football over with an interception, or this could come back in a big way to bite you. Thanks, Kirk. You're a wonderful person. <laughs> now, as soon as it was out of my hand, I knew I threw a duck. First and 10, ball on the 42. And off on the screen. Oh, he got smashed there. I just want to watch the hit. Oh, he threw it backwards too. If he didn't come up with that, that was uh, that would be a fumble. But just CPU hit stick there. Go cover four. Oh, it's a handoff to the fullback. That's what we like to see. I mean, to hell with, with state, but you know, hey, you fullback. <laughs> uh, let's go cover two again. They're liking their short and outside. Oh, we got something here. 
and return the favor. Thank you. And they'll return this one all the way. God damn it, Brad, you jinxed it. <laughs> Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. But yeah, so it's all back to basically even, except field position. And let's play it safe and keep it on the ground for this first play. As long as we get off and we're going to get the outs. No, we aren't. Really, you lost a 14 on that one. I don't agree with that spot, but I don't think I'm going to get a say in the matter. Yeah, because first contact was at about the 50, but I didn't make a move after that. PA post, X receiver over the middle. Safety's in. Oh, shit. I thought Johnson was going to keep going. He died on that route. I thought he was... I was thinking he was going to be on the sidelines, and just, I thought we are going to toe-tap that. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. Mm, don't like this play call. I don't know. Maybe. Ah. Oh. Damn. Let him away too much. Okay, well. We'll just burn out the quarter here. Oh, no, it was incomplete. Shit. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. Where is it going out? He was able to deaden that kick perfectly, and he gives him a long field to work with. Where, where did I give him long field to? That, that's the problem is I don't know where it's at. <laughs> uh, cover to sink. Uh, okay, 16. That's a good punt. That's a good punt. We gave him a long field there. That's what I wanted. I, I mean, I may have overdone it a bit, but... Oh, almost, almost. And sacks him. That's three down and one to go. The Wolverines lead it by two touchdowns. Some big plays happening here. I like the highlights. Again, when we're talking about realistic presentation, it does have its benefits like this, right? And the ESPN ticker is one of those add-ons that comes with the uh, with the mod. You can get the default one or you can get the ESPN style like this. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Now, I am going to expect them, if they score, to come back out. I, I'm ex it's four down territory at this point. I'm not expecting them to He's gonna try and scramble. take him down. Another four. Uh, I'm expecting them to think four down territory unless we stop them here on third and 17. But I'm expecting them, if we get them outside of their own red zone, I guess, uh, to cover two sink again. So I'm expecting them to be in four down territory. I'm expecting them to be going for onside kicks. They are down by two scores, so. Is he going to take the check down? Oh, no. Ooh, that was close. Ah, we almost had the safety there. That would have been great. They are going to punt. I mean, they have to. They're this far back. You can't, like, chance a fourth 17. That would put you inside, put us inside the 10. At that point, we could just run the ball up the gut until... That was not much of a return. Well, don't need much of a return. What we need to do is just run the football. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And Corum up the middle, and there we go. Hold on to it. There we go. I, I was only looking for, like, about five there, but I'll, I'll take 20-plus. Hasn't been the main water carrier of the offense thus far, but you know what? We're going to do a halfback dive, and again, we're not rushing to the line. Because we are looking at just burning off some clock here. It's not exciting football when you burn off the clock, admittedly, but... 
It's going to yell at me, but I'm going to snap at five. Five, we'll take it. No timeouts. That's fine. Just let the clock... 10-yard average on the day. No, nothing. I'm liking on this one. So we'll go to... Inside handoff. No, uh, counter's been working good for us. Uh, we'll take uh, halfback counter. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 13. Guards will pull. There we go. Thanks, guys. Oh, dang. I thought I was, I thought I had just enough room to be able to make that, but I should have been on the, I'm assuming it's, again, no, don't overcomplicate it here. Inside handoff. Call the ISO. We haven't called an ISO yet today. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. It's a long one. It's a long one. Again, watch that come down. Nice hole. Nice run, and he's brought down. They keep it on the ground and get the first down. Play clock will run. They'll spot the ball. We'll see what coach says. Halfback dive is the best call coach has made in a little bit. And again, we're just just punching it up the middle. I, 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 there's no need to risk it on... You know, we've got a two-score lead. No need to risk a turnover. Nice and safe. There it is, game. Blake Corm calls game. Two minutes left and three scores. I think we safely got it. A five-play, 47-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. They line up to kick this one away. Again, just go we're going to kick it short so that way. Force a return. Take some time off clock. The Wolverines have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. The defense shut them down on their last drive, forcing a quick punt. I like the commentary. And Seven Nation Army, is, it works because, I, you know, that is one of those songs that they do play. Oh, he's up the middle. It's one of those songs they play at Michigan Stadium. I, I'm, I'm guessing. Oh, okay. Um, cover six. All right. And he gets out. I, I can't believe that they are rushing it with uh, down three scores, two minutes to go. We want to take away. We want to take away the outsides here. So I are taking away these short ones here. Force them up the middle. Because they're going to be trying to throw to the sideline. And if they're going to throw to the sideline, keep it short. So that's the uh, that's the logic of that one. Uh, we'll take... I haven't had too much success with man coverage, so let's keep it zone. And, oh, Motion. I was going to say, they're going to... Oh, I've got some... No, nah, missed it. And missed that. Not a lot of success on the tackling side of things. Uh, yeah, cover four. Dang. Oh, yeah, they just missed it on the switch off there. Yeah. He was double, and then the guy stopped his own coverage, and 
let Fitzpatrick get loose there. So, I mean, yeah, it is what it is. So now it's first and goal after the big pass play. I was going to say, I almost feel like just throwing like field goal block or something ridiculous at them. Oh, not if he's... Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. Really? Some of the players are looking back because we have a penalty on the play. Oh. All right. You got to be careful to avoid these. Second. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. I would have liked to see what the penalty actually was. I mean, illegal touching. It's second down. So I'm guessing it was... I was going to say, how much illegal touching was that? I actually managed to get through and... I was going to say, oh, they, don't, they aren't going to show that one. That's a shame. Eh, bring up the free safety blitz. What the hell? And I did get through and hit, uh, hit the quarterback, but... Enough pressure that we, uh, now it is going to be four down territory. I've mentioned that off the hop, but, uh, I'm expecting that, yeah. Go two man under. I don't like this. I like that a little more. I don't think that changed anything, actually. Is he going to scramble? No, he's going to. Well, fumbles it, and because we're late, it's, yeah. I was going to say, you can't advance it, so that's it. Turnover on downs. I mean, the problem is, is Michigan State still has all three of their timeouts. Yeah, all right. Well, got him. I, I don't think they're calling a timeout, so I think I think we're good there. And I could see them kind of pressuring us if otherwise, but no, I think I think that should probably be it. Play type, clock management, uh, QB Neal. First and ten, ball on the twenty-seven yard line. So I think we're good there. Just have to get it down to under 40. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. That'll do it. It's one thing about these uh, these games is that we can't uh, can't just call a day right there. Because at this point in real football, everybody would be just kind of walking out into the field and shaking hands and all that. And I mean this, not Canadian football, because you have to run the last play in Canadian ball, but. So we're just watching the clock slowly tick down. Okay, I guess it just did come out. Oh, it's not going to give me the kneel. I just, just wander out onto the field. It's all good. <laughs> that'll do it now we get to all shake hands well, maybe shake hands or we start a fight one or the other I don't know which oh no everybody's playing hail to the victors at the same time what final thoughts do you want to share Michigan came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game they should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. I'm not surprised Corm gets player of the game. Just under 10 yard average. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long. And you get the graphics, and you get the graphics. It's, you know what? It's a fun little game, this. And until about, like I said, eight months from now, this is the way to play a college football video game.
No, you just have to get that. Let's just say, assuming that it's, and I'm assuming EA is going to throw money at it to make sure that it happens in, in eight months when we get NCAA football 25. Oh, and even freeze frames and everything. Not all are exciting. Yeah, we got highlights and that, and in case you wanted to see this, and didn't pass a lot, but then again, I like I said, five minute quarters versus seven minute quarters, or six minute quarters. I feel like six minutes kind of gives you a more realistic kind of play out of like what numbers would be. I mean, not that this is bad, but I feel like six minutes is kind of the sweet spot. And it's, it's only four more minutes, but I feel like it's just the sweet spot for this. Number one pick in the draft this year, presumably. Oh, and it gives you more stats here. Players of the game, offensive and defensive sides. And then, I was going to say State, I was going to say State probably had, uh, I was going to say, I look at their rushing attack and it's like, yeah, they would have more passing yards than us. So, and again, the, the possession numbers just don't add up for a 20 minute game, but. But yeah, that's. Uh, but yeah, you can you can do season mode, you can do dynasty mode, uh, road to glory, which is you know create a what's Heisman challenge? I don't even know what that is. Oh, okay, that's neat. That's neat. I don't remember this from the old uh, old NCAA ten, but I have to hazard that this is okay. We've got all these. All these legends of yore now take up the cause as one of them and try and uh, win yourself a Heisman as one of them. Matt Leinert, remember that guy? So, let's see. Hey, George, can you power back your way to, you know... I'm going to say Doug Flutie, who I have a soft spot for because he was a Canadian football legend, not a soft spot as Barry Sanders, the greatest running back to ever play the game. Did I mention I was a Detroit fan? You can create a new player, of course. And if it's anything like... Uh, I was going to say, if it's anything like um, back in the day, you create your player... I assume you can't put them in Canada. No. You gotta be a U.S. Uh, recruit, I guess. I was gonna say these. Oh, yeah, I guess they might change based on. Oh, and then you can just pick the team nickname. But yeah. Ooh, his head disappeared. Equipment and all that. Can I put, be a kicker for this? Just a so you can be you can't be an offensive lineman. You quarterback, halfback, or receiver. Can't be fullback. Can't be a road to glory fullback. You can be a defensive end lineman. Any position on defense, but you can't be a kicker and you can't be a lineman. Well, that's disappointing. If if we could do a kicker road to glory, we would be here. And we would make that a series. But since we can't be a kicker or a punter, I can't, I'm not going to do that. Let's play. But yeah, so you all the usual... Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going to discard this player. But yeah, all the all the features that comes with NCAA 14, just with the fresh coat of paint yep, and the um, updated rosters as well. Which, you know, that's great features. If you, if you love these games and you, you want to play a good football game, you know, and the price is right, you know what? NCAA 14. Hell, I might even keep playing this uh, now that I've uh, done this video. But yeah, no, I, I highly recommend. This is fantastic. This is a fantastic mod. It's a great game. You know what? Well worth your time. But I think that is where we're going to uh, call a day for College Football Revamped, a.k.a. NCAA 14, the 2023 mod.
Until we see you for more classic sports games updated to the current season. I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Share on social media. Follow on social media. The social media handle e is on silent on air. And that is for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. And don't forget, there's plenty more classic games in the playlist. There on the screen, in the description down below, and more videos any time on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe. And we will see you next year.